Hello everyone and welcome back to more Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, we are duplicitous dealings are going on. Well, it wouldn't be a Metal Gear Solid game if there weren't any duplicitous dealings going on. But Eve is up to something. What it is, we shall find out sometime. Anyway, Snake wakes up, staring at Eva's arse. Makes a change for staring at her boobs. Oh look! Friends are coming. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. We've got See, it's this is what I mean. In the quiet moments, Let's it's fine. Here. Well, Hurry. kind of. But this, oh, I've the best my chance there. But if she pushed R1, his eyesight would have been directly on Eva's cleavage. Which, you know, a trained soldier would... I don't know. It's just... I mean, I like fan service as much as the next guy, but come on. We can use this to get to the basement. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. Well, if I do, then what are you going to do? <laughs> you, I'll die if I want to, but you can't stop me. Anyway. Yes, we have now have the, the Ocelot unit, which is technically a boss fight. It's in the boss rush. Oh, we have an extra one to deal with. Usually it's eight, but I guess because I'm on hard, there's an extra one. Right. First thing we want to do is sort our camouflage out. So we're harder to spot crouching under this bed. And then did I sort my backpack? No, I didn't get a chance because we went in the cutscene, did we? Right, as soon as that door opens, we're going to throw a stun grenade out here. Move. This might be a mistake. What? I got two of them. Let's see if I can get another two. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, right, we're down to five. Means I must have got the four that were outside there. I don't know where the... The problem is I don't know where the other one is. Because I'm used to playing this on normal, so... Right. Pop the thermals on and we could see... There's a guy. There. We could shoot him through this grating. There's another one there. He'll collapse in a minute. This guy we take uh, out. Uh, right, we're down to three now. Sounds like somebody's coming over. 
I can see one over there. I don't know if I can hit him from here. I'm not sure if I got him. Back in the hole, back in the hole. Now if we hit him he should be passing out. There we go. Right, we're down to two, I know where the other two are. One's on the roof, which is really hard to hit. If we get spotted it'll be from him. So up there. You know what? Switch my camouflage just in case. Well Desert Tiger gives me good coverage. 95, that's pretty damn good. Alright. He's up there but I can't see him. There he is. If I hit that, I might hit his hand. Oh, his head's poking out. Come on, poke your head back. There he is. Pop. I said pop. There we go. And one left who is all the way over here. Uh, on our way past, we'll just grab all this stuff. I can't remember if these guys disappear after the cutscene that's about to take place, but... Anyway. Ah yes, there's one of the keratin frogs I mentioned earlier. Uh, I think their noise alerts the guards, so I'm not going to shoot them just yet, but there's the final one right through there. Pop him in the legs. And he will eventually go down. Come on. Wah, wah, ha. There we go. And that's them all taken care of. You done well done if I say so myself. Where'd you go on you? Ration, which I don't really want because they taste horrible. Serious, the rations are like awful. If you eat one and snake goes, yeah, disgusting. Seriously, it does. Right, anyway, we'll you'll frisk these guys for their loots. Because, you know, everyone likes loot. Battery, we need plenty of those. I think that's everything. Because once we head back over there, a cutscene will initiate. 
and I keep forgetting. I think I can. Yeah, I can dive over that though. I keep forgetting I can't climb over that wall. Okay, I already looted him. Yeah, a cutscene begins. Waiting for this moment. I've been waiting for this. Dude. Huh. That's it. That's the stance. Yeah, I came off of the R1 to show so. the stunt he was talking about. What? A female spy? Preposterous. Okay, yeah. This bitch is wearing perfume. There was a lot. There's no need for profanity. Stay where you are. I've had enough. Didn't your mother you teach know. you better? I see you've got yourself a. You know that only makes army. sense if you actually That's know the right. fucking. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? He said it's it wouldn't nice have happened if you hadn't been showing up. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. Yeah, seriously, also. What the fuck? Did you get that from a gun cabinet or something? And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. Ah. You don't have what it takes to kill me. We'll see. Because rock music stands up, because why not? Yeah, this game is a bit more grounded than the other Metal Gear sort of games. I say grounded, we still have the guy who shoots... Six shots. The guy who's come with that bees and the fucking guy shots. that shoots lightning, the but... Carries it still has its ridiculous you have moment. You to get a feel for how many you have left. This is a high-class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn! This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? Because you're screwed with the series it's continuity. I mean... You'll regret stopping me. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does! Seriously, Evie, you shot also a lot there, you would have caused the time paradox. Colonel Morden at you. Okay, that happened. Uh, and yeah, I was right. All the Ocelot unit members disappeared after that cutscene. Oh well. Right, we're heading into the forest, so I'm going to choose my cabo now. Uh, Flecton. Flecton's pretty good. Yeah, we'll go with Flecton. Did I mention these ones, Desert Tiger? These ones are like DLC ones. Well, they're not DLC. I don't know what the hell they are. They came with the subsistence. The, yeah, the subsistence version of the game. Okay, we've got to watch. That's a snake. Now, there's two snakes in this area. One of them's poisonous, one of them isn't. So we have to be careful. I forget which one is which. There's also crocodiles in here, so we have to be careful of those as well. 
yeah, a good drill of thumb to use your thermal goggles to spot things. Like, for example, the thermal. And you know what? Sorry, Mr. Cro Gator, but Crocodile Gator, whatever the hell you are. We're not wasting the suppressor when there's. I mean, there's no point in wasting the suppressor when there's nobody around to hear the gunshots, you know? Sorry, but you were in my way, and you give me a handy supply of food. Right, let's swim on. I bet. I, speaking of food, I bet all the food in my backpack is spoiled. Right, you may have heard little noises, by the way. Uh, hang on. Let's call paramedic and see if we can initiate this conversation. Snake, yes. Look at your body. Yep. Looking good. Not there. Then <laughs> where? See the leeches. Leeches. Yeah, you've got leeches all over you. Leeches will sometimes attach themselves to you if you spend a long time in the water or the swamp. When you've got leeches on you, they'll suck your blood, causing you to lose stamina. Uh, uh, by a long time, possible. they mean longer than like half a second. Red leeches go into cure in the survival viewer and press your cigar into them. Or, if you use the insecticidal bug juice ahead of time, the leeches won't bother you as long as the bug juice is in effect. Yeah. To be honest, I'll probably use the bug juice because there isn't a lot of places where the leeches come in. Yeah, but I just want to show off that conversation. Okay, uh, blood sucking leeches. There we go. Alright, uh, yeah, my food is spoiled. Because, oh shit, I didn't mean to eat it. Do I have, yeah, stomachache, eating rotten food, so... Yeah, because this game has a nasty habit. If you go, if you come back the next day, Snake, are you there? Um, Eva, to, did you miss me? I don't put this. Did you make it without any trouble? No one it saw. It doesn't quite work in so real time, but in a matter of speaking, if you save the game, the go away for a while and come back. Yeah, oh, your food is rotten. This, this, this is like a week. Thanks, I will. More than a week the since I last I played this. Well, I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about so, the So, you know, since I record Why that chunks like it? that... Weren't you born and raised in America? Every couple of weeks? Yes, in a small rural town. The way I, I never do even things, knew there I record were other chunks every couple other of weeks, so... Other ways of thinking. Yeah, that's going to happen a lot. That's like the way. And one day... Sorry, I'm kind of talking over the even story here. things I've been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth then? It's hidden in the lies. Yeah, she also could be talking about any Metal Gear Solid game. I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. Yeah, I'm afraid to tell I you, Snake, there is no Santa Claus. Because I have to. <laughs> Actually, that's a... Uh, when we get to the next game, mission. Peace Walker, that'll I'll be hilariously funny. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. See ya. Right. Uh, we also have to look out because there's traps here. 
Uh, I'm looking for, yes, this climbable tree. Now this one will lead to something. Which might seem ridiculous at first, but it's actually quite useful. <laughs> I'll put my gun away while I'm hanging. No. Okay, uh, we need the camera angle to right so I can tell. Right, hopefully do this. I think I'm right <coughs> about that. Yes. Kind of tricky that. And the reward for this is when we get there, that spinning thing there. <coughs> Crocodile cap. Oh, I hope I've actually picked it up before I said it. Uh, no, that's not the right thing. And if we go with this, take it out, because tonight I'm not a weapon. Uh, put the cardboard box away. Do this. Where the snake looks. Rachel. Where the snake. <laughs> And if we call, I think it's a paramedic or second, and maybe both of them. You got some instant noodles, huh? Hey, Snake, remember back at the abandoned factory when you. Sounds like the Cobra units met. Yeah. Snake, you said Eve. Murder, take 17. You know that army. Yeah, okay, we've got to get through all these dialogue first. The Davy Crockett's that the... Yes, okay, thank you. Hey, you... A cap shake like there a crocodile head, you say? Yeah, what do you think? I think it's a great idea. You know, animal disguises are one of the oldest tricks in the book in the intelligence world. I don't know whether it's true or not, but I've heard that during World War II, the OSS used to use cow suits. Supposedly, they sent agents out to hide in herds of real cows so they could spy on enemy units as they passed by. Nowadays, I guess most people wouldn't even give a crocodile-shaped cap a second look. They think it was just a gag item. But if you use it the right way, it can be an effective weapon for spying. I gotta hand it to you, Snake. You're one sharp guy. You okay, Snake? Now forget it. Huh? Anyway, yes, the crop cap, which, again, will be coming in handy. Not quite yet, though. Whoops. Uh, I think zero... Oh, he say something about it. it looks no. Because I've not actually got the crocodile cap equipped, but he'll say something like if you poke your head out the water and you could use it as a disguise or... I keep pressing the wrong button. It's... Because I'm not used to... There we go. Right, we'll put the cap away for now and bring out more bug juice. There we go, that should prevent us. Now if we follow this path here. Ah, uh, is there something down here? I think this is a... Some camouflage somewhere, but not particularly useful one, if I remember right. But should be able to, yeah. Shot grenade. Yeah, this isn't going to be a run where I get all the camouflage, because I kind of remember where they all are. Right. Yep, that's a trap, but we avoided it, because I just remembered at the last second. And we're... Then you're gone, right. Bring up round key 22, and we could... Convenient little bitch here we could crawl through. First, aha, you see that? 
Is that on this? Yeah, that's on this side of the fed. I don't want to use because I've got a mine detector, but I'm not sure if the beeping actually alerts guard or not. Because this is uh, where are we? Yeah, listen you. Because I know there's like an, there's an active sonar that you could ping, but the beeping of that alerts guard, so. And there's a guy over there. No, there's dogs over there. So, yeah, it's better to use the thermal goggles, I feel. Yeah, there's dogs on the other side of that fence. I'm going to have to be careful with them. Uh, I don't want to have to shoot them, but I'm not sure what I can do. I think I can distract them somehow with live, live food. I'm not sure. Maybe if I look at the dogs and call zero, you'll have some advice. First, enter the cave through the crevice. Eva said it was to the north, so head that way. Okay, but can you actually give me some pertinent... First, advice? enter the cave... Okay, God, you're as bad as Big Boss in the first game. Are you paramedic? I see. Okay, she just tells us about the crocodiles. Okay. <laughs> Shake, shake, shake. Ah, <coughs> oh, that's fucking perfect, is it? <coughs> Go to sleep, doggy. You haven't seen a damn enemy. Why is there a dog barking? Okay, well there goes the no alert playthrough. Even though it was pretty much scrubbed as a no alert playthrough already. Fairness, this is a, the first time in a good long while I've played the game on hard, so I'm not used to it. Uh, have we got better camouflage? I think we do, but let's see. Ah, uh, no, actually not. DPM, we could, but yeah. Uh. HQ. This is HQ. Patrol here. Right, those guys are over there. I think I could just crawl past. Yeah. Crawl into this undergrowth here. A lot of this game's going to be crawling around, I have to admit that now. I know there's a guard all the way over there, but I can't see him. Yep, there he is. Okay. Myself in the undergrowth. Somebody is he coming? I think he might be coming. No, that's that guy that saw me. Okay. Eventually, he'll walk away. Nobody here. Uh, 
Now, ideally, sirs, if you could just walk away. Yeah, they don't see me when they're when I'm peeking over the, the trees, the the leaves like this. I need to wait till that guy turns around as well. I just noticed the time on this video and uh, I said the episodes were going to be shorter than the first two were but they were both running a bit but I'll get to the next area and then and then end the episode. I'm going to see what happens when the caution runs out. Right, what's he going to do? Is he going to just turn around and... This is HQ. Okay, he's going to walk away. Okay. Ah, shake. Understood. Return to your position. Sleep. There we go. That was a bit sloppy on my part, but never mind. Right, I can't see anyone else, so we should be okay. The whole reason for coming up here is there's another camo. And again, I can't remember if it's one that's actually useful or not. Splitter, yes, that is useful. Damn it, I'm going to have to trunk this guy. And this one. Why is it going on caution? There's nobody left. Oh, there is another. Oh, there is him over there. That's why it's going on caution. Okay, there we go. We're taking out everybody in this area, you know, because the timer goes off. I didn't want to have to go through this area shooting everyone. There's another dog there, but I think we should be okay. No, you didn't. Okay, Poshaya past the base. That's where we'll end this episode, so... I'll just crawl into the grass here so I'm not seen. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time when we try and get past... past the base. So, uh, bye.